This concept checkup was supposed to go up on Sunday, but I totally forgot about the forums being down at the time. With that aside. Hello and welcome back to the concept checkup. The point of concept checkup is to dive into the Warframe forums, look for a community made Warframe concept, and talk about it. For the purpose of concept checkup, I will use my custom built evaluating method known as AS. Without further ado, let's begin the checkup. For today's checkup, we have Enigma, the hacker Warframe. Enigma was created by Arthur Scurbius in real life, and by Finish him on the Warframe forums. Enigma is a unique Warframe not because of its hacker theme, but because her kit allows her to support her squad by manipulation of the environment, enemies, or just a simple buff. Enigma is a somewhat squishy frame, with low armor, average health, and above average shields. Enigma has slightly above average energy capacity, and an average sprint speed. Don't let Enigma's mediocre stats fool you. What Enigma lacks in endurance she can make up for in usefulness. Yes, Enigma is a female. Enigma's first ability is Binary Spike. Enigma floods her targeted enemy's nervous system with raw binary information, effectively disabling them for a limited amount of time. Binary Spike has a different effect depending on the enemy faction. Grenier are inconvenienced either by hallucinations or by slow effects. Corpus either malfunction or are made combat useless, and infested are either stunned or lose their healer effects. In addition, binary spike also affects Eximus units by completely nullifying their effects. This includes all Eximus from Arctic to Energy Leech. Lastly, binary spike can also instantly solve a panel if an alarm or lockdown is in effect, and it can also make panels temporarily unavailable to enemies if no alarm is occurring. That's a lot for a single ability. I really like the diversity that Binary Spike provides for just a first ability. Typically powers that are in the first spot are either some type of utility or damaging skill. Enigma on the other hand trades damage for variety, since Binary Spike does not deal any damage. Binary Spike might make Enigma a decent stealth frame, since Binary Spike does not break stealth when being used. Overall I really like Binary Spike, as it's the first true counter we have to those annoying Eximus, but at the same time we still have those pesky nullifiers to worry about. Enigma's second ability is the Warden. Enigma deploys the Warden, an Osprey which follows her around for a limited amount of time before expiring. Every 5 seconds, the Warden generates a pulse which restores a certain percentage of all allies' shields. The pulse does have a radius. So in order to benefit from it, a teammate must either stay close to Enigma, or Enigma must build for power range. The Warden lasts until its time period ends, or until it takes too much damage. I don't see this ability seeing much use except maybe in situations like T4 defense and possibly survival, where squads are grouped together for large amounts of time, and when injuries are common. Otherwise, the Warden could have some use in sorties. It's a nice supportive skill, but it might not see much use, much like Hallowed Ground. Enigma's third ability is Grid Hack. Enigma hacks the entire security grid of her location, regardless of faction. For a limited amount of time, Enigma gains control of all systems, which cause numerous effects. During Grid Hack, all security cameras are disabled, all hazards such as arc traps, laser doors, and turrets target enemies instead of the Tenno, enemies are completely unable to trigger alarms or lockdowns, Mo and Osprey spawns are halted, and lastly, Enigma gains the ability to initiate a silent lockdown, basically locking every door in the mission to everyone except her squad, all without setting off the alarm. Grid hack is truly hacker-esque, with its nullification of spawns and cameras as well as hacking of doors and turrets. If built for duration, I can see grid hack being slightly too highly useful, depending on the map. On Grenier missions, the only noticeable effects would be the friendly arc traps and laser doors. On Corpus missions on the other hand, Ospreys and Moes would not spawn, turrets would be friendly, and laser doors could stall advancing enemies. This is a very large form of crowd control, as enemies would either have to fight the rogue turrets or impeding laser doors. 
on void missions, the hack turrets might be useful, but really they might just be garbage on T3 and T4 missions. Grid hack can be a may or a great asset to a squad, depending on the location. Enigma's fourth ability is Overclock. Enigma gives herself a tremendous buff for a limited amount of time, increasing her shield capacity and recharge rate to 200% of the original values, and her shield recharge delay is shortened by 40%. In addition, Binary Spike temporarily gains the ability to jump to up to four other targets upon use, much like Volt Shock. I think the idea of hacking your own frame for a power boost is fine, but in Enigma's case it might be too strong. Overclock might be useful when Enigma's about to face a large crowd of enemies or when near death, but the numbers are simply too high. The recharge delay is fine, but the shield capacity and recharge rate buffs should be reduced to probably around the 75% to 100% range, where it's less ludicrous. The binary spike buffs seem fine. Considering Enigma's target disable, team support, global map manipulation, and self buff, I don't see a particular comp where she doesn't have something to offer, except for maybe farming teams on T4 survival. Really I see Enigma as a slightly better jack of all trades than Oberon. With rambling out of the way, here are Enigma's scores. The only real problems Enigma has is the high buff she gives herself from overclock, and the lack of a passive. With her hacker theme in mind, I'm sure that coming up with a passive is possible, albeit time consuming. Her binary spike is a more useful version of Limbo's Banish, the Warden is a semi-spin-off of Mag's Shield Polarize, Grid Hack is a giant way to troll the enemy, and Overclock is really just a one-button steroid. For my personal thoughts, I enjoy the idea of a hacker warframe, much like I enjoy the idea of an interdimensional magician. I'd like to see some version of Enigma to exist in the game, because once Stealth 2.0 drops, I'm sure that a hacker warframe can be made. So that's Enigma's checkup. Tune in next time where I will perform a concept checkup on talk. Thank you for watching.